Stephen, how come there's blue tack hanging off the lens of that camera? Mate? Often. Um, well, so last time that camera was used, Victoria yeah. was, was oh, doing a little speech cards. for school. Ooh. So I had a little... Um, yeah, rather than setting there. up the auto queue, I didn't ah. give it the auto queue. I just so gave, gave it the, 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 the old print it out and stick old. it on there. <laughs> yeah, you know, very nice. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, just uh, okay. We're recording on Tuesday. I just got some breaking news, but you, you'll love this. Really? Are you across the news about David Warner losing his baggy greens? Yeah, heard about okay. it. Yeah. yeah. So he posted this on Instagram. Yeah. No, no, I don't know actually. Have you got he, it? He posted a <laughs> posted a video on Instagram, right? Yeah. Now, I don't know why the top comment here is just a friend of mine who's commented. So ignore the very top comment because that's just okay. what your Instagram do feed my, does. Do I, do I have to read you this? all need your glasses momentarily. Okay. So Shame. for context, David okay. Warren has posted, this is my last resort, and he's posted a video of him saying, look, uh, Qantas Freight, da-da-da, my bag, someone's stolen my bag, and right. it's got my baggy greens in it. The, the blue tick comment on Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> read it out. <laughs> the blue tick comment is from a young lady named Chappelle Corby. Qantas, exclamation point. Well, do I have a story for you? <laughs> wow. That's cool. That wins the That's internet. Funny. That's funny. That could be 2024's That's, best comment. That'll make the news. Oh, it's That's already funny, on the NT news. That's for sure. That's funny. I'm sure it's on news.com.au and other places. <laughs> wow. That's pretty wild. It is. That yeah. is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and I respect the spirit. In which she's taken. Yes. Yeah. You know, well, how many how many years was she in prison? It's been a while. Like, oh no, I don't. Well, she I, was it was it 10, 12 years? Easy, easy decade. Yeah. Wow. She did a time. Yeah. And then some. And yeah, then wow. some. Yeah. Considering you know it's just a boogie board. Yep. Anyway, I've got nothing. I really. Yeah. I really don't have anything else. Yeah, it's a, it's uh, an odd odd time of year, isn't it? It's it's that time of year where you don't know what day it is. Yes, yeah, someone had that? a name yeah. for it. Someone it's, it's had a like, word um, for it. I'm like, I've never heard that yeah. word before in my life. But you but know, were, like, like Christmas was on a Monday last yeah. year, uh, 2020, 2023. We're recording this in 2024 from Welcome the future. Welcome to 2024. Uh, so uh, that was odd, uh, being on a Monday. Yeah. It felt like a Sunday. Have you had to write 2024 yet? No. I had to type it today on uh, a letter. And I should know I have, yeah, on some invoices. Oh, well, yeah. went straight. It's third day <laughs> type, of the month. Typed got, it in, baby. Second day of the month that he's invoicing already. No mucking around. Sheesh. No mucking around. No, hey, if, if the first wasn't a public holiday, we'd have been the first. What was stopping you? Well, I just didn't do it. Didn't get around to it. But, yeah, it's been on. I don't observe public holidays. And that's not yeah. because I'm a sovereign citizen. <laughs> that's just because I don't know you when don't most of them are. You them. Right. Okay. I don't know when most. Yeah. I'll come to work. And Amanda's like, are you coming home? I'm like, why would I? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a public holiday. Anzac Day. I'm like, well, oh, you know what? Whatever. It's funny because when I was working at News Limited, uh, public holidays, we worked public holidays. Exactly. Well, we worked. The only public holiday we didn't work, well, we weren't supposed to work, is Christmas Day and Good Friday. Yeah. And for those, we had days off in lieu. That's right. But when I was working on sport, uh, we had to. Pre there was no paper on Christmas Day, which meant we had Christmas Eve off. Yes. But Christmas Day, we had to produce the Boxing Day paper. So we worked on Christmas Day. And it wasn't unusual to see uh, Rupert Murdoch in the office and sort of kept greeting all the staff who came nice. in on their day, on Christmas Day, to work and to put the paper out. Uh, he has uh, seen him many times on Christmas Day. Worked many Christmas days when I was working in sport, especially. So, hmm. yeah. Public holidays. Not really non-existent as a journo there, but and as the compensation for that was the fact we got six weeks and three days annual leave. Wow. So yeah, more more holidays. Yeah, you only had five at GB because it was really five. only five. Well, because we would also take off Christmas. So right, <clears throat> if you're at Two GB and you're a producer, in my case on the Ray Hadley Morning Show, you would work until December. 17 somewhere there yeah. and then you have five weeks off and that's your break you know, you, that's enforced. You, you couldn't have any you can't leave. choose to say no mm. I want to keep working I want to go to Europe in I mean in you could ask for a time off but yeah right <laughs> good luck getting a job when you come back <laughs> yeah right um, no no it was just that's just that, okay. but it was it was yeah. kind of easier in that sense you yeah, know exactly same with the, plan. Us, the league you know the league boys that take the off season off you know they're, they're not yeah. working over summer they yeah. take six eight weeks off whatever they got some and, people uh, would hate on that style of arrangement just because mm. they're so in you know ingrained in the yeah. style of you know freedom and flexibility, but you know it's different. Yeah. Different industries do different things. So, yeah, you know, know. I, I took some Christmases. It was very hard to get Christmas off when mm. you're there. Like the, the, some more senior people would get it if you weren't sort of sen seniority sort of kicked in. But I remember when I was playing footy and still working at the newspaper, it, my, our my holidays would be just after the off season when we go on our end of season trips. So I'm thinking, yeah, Tell us about me, some of those, give me give me six weeks off there, baby. Yeah, I'll uh, I might save it for the private fee. What do you think? 
I think you should probably save it for a book. Yeah. We'll, um, we'll, uh, it'll be in the you book. Might need I'll to write change a book some day. names. Yeah. Name protect names. Uh, names yeah. has been changed to protect the innocent. Yeah. Or, or the or why, mate? Why do you say that? Because I've heard a couple heard of your couple stories. Of <laughs> <laughs> what happens on tour stays on stays tour. Stays on tour. It's the baby. first thing we've got to tell yeah. Jackson. Like what happens in Vegas? We're going to Vegas. And so your son's joining us, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. joining EFTM. Yeah, I'm going separately for Tech Guide, but um, <laughs> it's going to be We're still uh, there together. Yeah, we'll be over there. We'll still be doing a podcast there together too. Yep, uh, two, three or four, two or two or three, three, two we'll or three. There. Yeah, yeah. We'll try. We'll try and get to three. I think. Yeah, we'll discuss that. Um, yeah, moment. So we'll have to. I have to look over the contract, mate. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'll look over the terms of my contract. Imagine having a contract. <laughs> do you, Do you have many? No. Signed agreements with anyone? Nope. Because we've recently had to yes, endure. Yes, I know. You, you, and, you, you and I, yeah. And I, was I like, had to sign that as well, didn't I? Yeah. I was only a witness, though. You're like yeah, a bastard. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. In fact, oh, we need to do yeah. that again. Oh, do we? Yeah, because it came through at an, at an awkward time for us. And uh, okay. Oh, I needed sorry, to yes. redo okay. it. And so yeah. I, didn't, I didn't redo it. Oh, we've got time. It. Yeah, anyway, fine. we're That's fine. fine. Jeez. Yeah. You could have asked me, mate, a week ago. No, no problem. I'll do it. No, to be honest, I forgot. I understand. But yeah, just, I've all, I'm a. Like I had someone I've been dealing with in the last month who wanted to get involved in something. Go, oh, do you want me to draw up a thing? And I went, mate. To be honest, uh, this email is my handshake. So if right. you need something more formal than this, okay. you draw it up. That's right. the way I roll. So someone else joining the EFTM ranks, mate? No, 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 no. I'm just talking about like a, right. a commercial thing. It was just someone okay. wanted to do something, and yeah. I'm like, I've sent you an yeah. email that says, here's what I think you should yeah. do. Here's what it's going to exactly. cost. Exactly. Yeah. And that's you've said that's need. a great idea. Yeah. We're in. I've said that's me. My word is my bond. Is that what you and said? And like, I'm like, that's a back and forth. That's yeah, a course. conversation. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's equivalent to a handshake. Yeah. Yeah. What are we... Absolutely, yeah. If I take that to a court, they're yeah. going to say I didn't have a contract, but I'm going to say, yeah, we he did. said this. an agreement. We I agreed. said that. Yeah. We're agreed. Of course. Yeah. As long as I've made it very clear what it is. Yeah. We're good to go. No, we're, I'm, I'm all good like that. Lawyers yeah. love you to bits. Keep but them out. Yeah. Don't well, need to make you rich. Well, let's, <laughs> let's get them involved in the big issues. Yeah. Not day to day. Serious issues, yeah. You know, content yeah. deals. I agree, mate. I agree. So I, I do... Yeah, my all my relationships are all handshakes. Yeah, all my deals are handshakes. But you know what? Because we know them, we know we're dealing with people yep. who we know very well, yeah. and it they does. know what to expect from us. We know what to expect from them. I will say, it does make it hard when they end. They don't yeah. normally end because someone decides not to. It's because that yeah. person leaves. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like in the case of a business. Yeah, sure. Like and look, Arlo and Netgig, great people, long time supporters. Love them. Listen, if the it, a good thing about both those organisations is there's multiple people at both organisations yes. who we deal with, but we've got the, backups. <laughs> <laughs> is what Trev's trying to say. So but, don't you think of resigning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, if someone leaves, it, it's it's uh, yeah, if no, you're doing no. a risk management uh, d- yeah. index yeah. for our lives, yeah. that's the risk is right. that someone leaves their job and they don't end up back in tech. Yes. Because if they're that, if they're that big they supporter, do, if they do, that's, hello. A, that's someone new. Do you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I've had that, co- had that conversation a couple yeah, of times yeah. and it's worked out. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it does. Good, anyway, yeah. I think that's a good way to approach life. I'm sure it's not the, the perfect approach for a lot of people. Yeah, well, but I know, think that A couple of self-employed world, guys here that are just doing our best. I don't mean. Yeah. And do, Trev doing very well please. as well. <laughs> I do. I do. Just, I do choose to spend some of my money on, for example, a bookkeeper, so someone that yes. does the invoicing and stuff. Yep. You you choose to spend money on, on people who do the yeah, web stuff. I do so my back end stuff. You, you no, do stuff I've right? got an, I pay an accountant. I've got an accountant. Oh, we all have all, accountants. Yeah, Let's but, be real. But you've got a bookkeeper, though. Yeah. But So I, I do my own bookkeeping, but in all my accountancy is done by a proper accountant. Yeah. 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 But Bass, I'm just Bass, saying, all that, I'm just saying all if we were, yeah. you know, like if, yes. we, if we had to you start spending money on legal. How hard is that to do that yourself, mate? You got a bookkeeper, so you say, "Listen, just bill them for that, and or or send an invoice I'll for just, this." If I do a deal, I'll just hit forward and yeah. say, "This is this." Invoice them every three this months, company, every quarter. Do is this do? one off, whatever. Yeah, yeah, mate. That's yeah. It's funny how how we prioritize different things like you. I've, I've, and look, my web back end guys, they do all my advertising for mm. me. They also do all my SEO for me. They host my site. They do all of that. And shout out to Multimediax, good good company, good boy, good guys out there. They look after all of that for me, yeah. and 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 improve. Like we're in the middle of doing a redesign as well, so that's gonna that's them doing that as well. So, mm. yeah, they and let me lets me focus on other things, focus on what I do best, like producing the stuff for the site. You know the weird thing about the fact that we both have different priorities and stuff. They actually, yeah. they're actually complementary. Yeah. So you do the bookkeeping. 
You don't do the bookkeeping. I do. Yeah. You do all your back end web. I don't. Oh, I, have, Is that what I have help with it, but I don't. Do you know what I mean? Well, like, see, I but just... you've got, you got a background in web design, web building. So you've done this for like thirty five yeah, years, but right? In in the modern age, I couldn't yeah. do it. I couldn't do it if I didn't have Ben, who is the guy that I text if something's gone wrong. Right. Um, okay, so you're from your host, is that right? Yeah, but like, like ads, for example, when yeah. a particular advertiser sends a weekly email with a new ad. Yeah, oh, especially over the Christmas holidays. I do. Like, I oh, do you that. do that. You schedule yeah. it, do all that. I don't even schedule I have to do it on the day. Oh, I don't right. have the ability to no. schedule it. Oh, well, that's why I, I say to my my guys, schedule it for this date at this yeah. time. Yeah. So it's again, multimediacs, look them up. They're it's all just good boys. funny. What are we advertising for these people now? <laughs> no, they're good guys. They've never hit me up. They're real good blokes. Whatevs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Put it this way. I'm their star, one of their star clients. You go to their website and it's I'm um, one of their big hosts. So they, they put me up front to say, look, <laughs> we do it. We look after this bloke. Yeah. We look after one of the two blokes is what they say. Oh. <laughs> the other bloke, he's looking after himself. That sounds inappropriate. <laughs> let's be real. I am married 19 years though, so happy anniversary, by the way. That was yeah. a, a December 31, wasn't it? December 31. Yeah, I saw that. A very nice post you did too. Still, a, what did you say? Still a yes from me. Still was a yes it from 19 me. 19 years. 19 years. Good. Do you know what? the breaking? That's news. That's so romantic. The breaking, did Amanda share the same the sentiment? The breaking news though was <laughs> she reshared my story what? and said. A yes from me too, and oh. I went. That's like the fourth wedding. Let's wow. go! Wow, wow, that's good. That's we've lovely. we've 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 said I do three times. I consider yep. her Instagram post a fourth. Wow, that's good. Pretty big after nineteen. And so years. nineteen years, and your son is about to turn seven. Well, he's just turned seven. Just yep. turned. Oh, he's yep. had his birthday, of course, yep. in, in December, wasn't he? Yep. Did you get his license? By yep. The way? Got his first go. Yep. Drove to work today. That was no. There was no post about that, mate. Or? Do you know what? Write it down. Private feed. Yes. Okay, I'll remember, mate. Will you need, remember? I don't need to write it down. I'll remember. I won't. Yeah, I'll remember. So, yeah, the, the, we have a lot mental, to catch mental up on. Mental note. Beep, beep. And we, okay. and, yes, we have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, and private we'll feed's going to be an interesting feed. one this yes. week. Listen to let's, it. Let's be real. We, we do encourage you to listen to it. it it'll, yeah. it'll be real this week. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to keep it upbeat and yes. interesting right yes. now. But wow, and we said it wasn't going to be a long show this week, <laughs> do we? But now that's about twenty minutes in now. That or? may be half the show because we did struggle with what yeah, to talk we'll about this right. week. We're going to wing it, like we do every week. We just wing it. Is that what we do? No, we just write ours. Our, <laughs> our production team: uh, Bill, John. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think Bruce. of other random names. <laughs> Bruce. Bruce would no, no, Bruce would be okay with this because it's not talking Apple till the way down. Uh. Um, imagine if we had producers though. Imagine. Like imagine if there was people behind you. Know, here it's funny because I, <laughs> I, I listen to produ- I listen to shows like I listen to Smartless and all yeah. these other like Rob Lowe's podcasts uh, called Literally. That's a good one too. And there's all these producers yeah. and yeah, you know, there's like five what people. Are you doing? Thinking, How hard is it to just yeah. turn on a microphone and talk to someone? Well, then we have had issues. Yeah, what issues? Well, you talking where about you we, and me? where we forgot to turn the microphone on? Well, how's it on today? I've I've checked multiple times. Good, good. It has. So I'm not saying all that shit again. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a little out of practice. Yeah. So I'm well, very nervous rusty, that something's not on. Yeah. To be honest. Where's your checklist, mate? I, I, I went through the, the checklist. checklist on the computer. Okay, good. Okay, good. I went through all the right, checklist. All right. all right. Well, forget the checklist. Is this going to work? I don't know. There's Let's only one it. way to find out. You ready? You count it in. One, two, three. Welcome to Two Blokes Talking Tech. Not a bad price. With Trevor Long from EFTM.com. Really handy device. And Stephen Fennec from techguide.com.au. The counter is on. It's been going 13 minutes. Everyone relax. I spoke over my own name, by the way, during the intro there, so that's okay. I can't edit that out. No, it's all good. Actually, I can. It's It's multi-track. I could just erase you. (laughs) No, thanks. Episode 614. 614, ladies and gentlemen. Find me a show that's been kicking along weekly. Into our 13th year. year. Yeah, this is, we're heading into our 14th, actually, aren't we? Yes, 2011. Because to, when you, oh yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. because I was talking about this with yes. um, an email I had to write about the Today Show. I said I'm, I'm in my tenth year. It sounded better than saying I'm coming up to my tenth anniversary on the Today Show. Yeah, yeah. Right. Is it already a decade? In September. Wow. We in September. Uh, okay. It's ten years. Right. Which means this is my tenth year. Look at him. You see wow. what I'm saying? Yeah. I anyway, so this is we're, we're into our fourteenth. We're year. heading into our thirteenth anniversary. Heading into our fourteenth year. Wow. That's a lot. Just sounds so much better. Anyway, 614 is a lot, folks. Yes, okay. It is, yes. I'm telling you, a lot of people start podcasts and yeah. then stop. Yeah. Not the we, two blokes. We don't. Yeah. We're kicking on. Yeah. Thanks to Arlo, Home Security Absolutely. Covered, and Netgear. 
Wi-Fi, network computing, everything sorted with Netgear and Arlo. So we'll tell you more about them shortly. Stephen, it is Tuesday as we record, and I will publish this as soon as it all yep. generates, but it'll probably be Wednesday because this the amazing... Tech Guide's back as well. That's in the feed just on hit, Tuesday. I just published it. Just Did so you know? know. I just Did hit you? publish, yeah. Really? Well, because I figured if this goes out, okay. I, mean, yeah. I wanted the gap to be as long as it could be for you. Good for you, mate. Um, I just did it at the time we all usually agreed on. But that's yeah, so very, very it went nice. up at like 3 30, 4 o'clock. Wow. Four. Is that why I've been getting all those emails? Yeah, definitely. Wow. Um, <laughs> because, and just uh, inside baseball, but because we now do the video, yep. um, the video processing takes some time. Yeah. Um, once let's say two hours after we do the show, it's all kind of edited and stuff. Then when you upload, it takes hours for YouTube yeah. to say it's good. And it's also, 4K. you choose four K. Yeah, and now quality. I'm I'm uploading the video to Spotify as well. Of course, how's that going? By the way, we're getting a lot of views on Don't Spotify. Know. Not many. No. Okay. And then it extracts the audio of that to push out to Apple Podcasts and everything, right? Right, of course. So basically, we have to wait for the video to transcode and do all its thing yeah, before wow. it becomes available. So I'm just gonna I'm maybe, just gonna hit publish and see what happens. Maybe we do need producers. Yeah, to get them to do that is that what would a producer would have done? A eh? producer Probably, would have said, "Okay, over to you." Put it this way: a producer so would be mean, the talent. We're yes, the talent. we would walk out the door and, then the and go and get to dinner. Do all that work. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're we're open to offers. <laughs> <laughs> Who's paying? Uh, <laughs> Not me. Yeah. No, we'll get there. Um. Anyway, so yep. that's timing wise. This will come out on on Wednesday. So yep. tomorrow, according to the listener, we are off to see <whistles> us. Um, Las Vegas. I feel unprepared. Really? I won't lie. Really? I just Why? I don't know, actually. I just feel like I we've had a lot on. We'll talk yeah, about New Year's too, Eve maybe yeah, as well on the too. private, but me too. We've just there's been a lot on. And yeah. so, so what do you need to prepare? What do you need to sort of get in the zone? Is that what you mean? Or you're just not packed? What do you mean? Packing is one thing. Yep. Um and you know, like yeah, packing just, all your gear and your clothes. Over the years and, I've changed dramatically what C S is in terms of what I take. I used to take like microphones and studio, like the whole I used to, Yeah. This year I'm focused. Well, the last few years I'm focused much more on TV. So it's just like, yeah. do I have every yeah. card light, you know, yes, thing? It's yeah. just like, man, when you land on the ground, there is a bit of buffer time. There's a couple of days, yes. but there's some things that would be hard to. We always, I always say, have I got my passport? Because everything else I can buy. Yeah, which is true, right? Of course. But yeah. there would be things that would be difficult. So yeah. I just like to look around and go, that'd be really annoying. Like today, I went packing for all the gear I put on the tripod and I couldn't find something so I had to find an, a new way of doing it but I'm glad I did yes. it to set it up and everything. Well, uh, what's the but, saying? You know, uh, pre- pre- failing to prepare is prepared to, prepare to fail. Yeah. So, um, I'm a big but you've fan done of a lot of preparation preparing. I can see here so, and I've just, I, I'm just mentally sort of packing all the stuff that I need to take. Yeah. I know that we, for do us you, to... Do you not write a list? No. I've got a list. It's over there of no, things. It's in my head. It's up here. Here's how, here's how anal I am, right? Yeah. I, yes, yes. I sat down with a bit of paper and I wrote this, this is going to sound ridiculous. I wrote, okay, Thursday, and then I wrote Thursday again because there's two Thursdays. You've got to have clothes to fly in. You've got to have another clothes. <laughs> Friday, right Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Yeah. I wrote the you wrote days. About the clothes you need. Is that what you wrote down? Yeah. I wrote the day. So I go, how many pairs of undies do I need? How many pairs of socks do I need? How many shirts do I need? And then I go, I'm going to be going out on like these few nights. I'm going to be doing TV on these days. That, I'm going this. to need this many jackets. Like yeah. I'm. How many tech guide shirts am I going to take? That's what I've asked. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few. I won't be. Like, I won't rewear many. Legit, I've got a few. That, yeah, because I, well, I, mate, mate, I don't I, do washing. I wear every day. I've got a tech guy shirt on. I know. Every but day. Do you? You don't wash while you're there. Uh, no, but yeah. I've got like five tech guy shirts, mate. Four tech guy shirts. We're away for four, twelve days. Four long sleeve tech guy shirts. Yeah. But at, at the show, I was wearing oh, the tech guy right, shirts. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And and for uh, unveiled. Yeah. So again, inside baseball. So I did a. Um, what the hell was I doing the other day? Uh, current affairs story. And so, you know, my jeans on, my shirt on, my jacket on. I went yep. into the studio and I did some stuff. And then I was, I did a couple of errands and stuff on the way back. And I got back and I went, I feel not, I don't feel uh, sweaty. I just feel uncomfortable. Right. right. And I went, I'm doing it again. What I did in for CES last year and E for the year before, I went, I'm not wearing the suit jacket and everything for a current affair because it's four days of shooting, right? Yeah. I've got to wear the same thing every day. <clears throat> I've got five yeah, blue, blue shirts and everything. Yeah. But I went, I'm going to go short sleeve. I've got these oh. shirts. Ooh, oh, right. okay. I've got these uh, plain blue. Are these the shirts you had to drive a long way to get the other day? <laughs> All right, that's another private feed. Note that. But, but here's feed. the thing. So I, I had to buy yeah. like five. I Didn't I've, even drop in to say hello. I've got bludger. five of those. Okay. And so I, this is man, how my was packing. Was Gazman special? This is Johnny right? Big actually. Johnny, oh, Johnny, Johnny Big. Yeah. yeah, there's a big, big store in Scarners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mate, I'm a very loyal customer of Johnny Big's. Well, I was a customer of Johnny Big's. 
It oh, was. You yeah. downsized. I have actually, yes. Mate, have we got two hours for the private this week? Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, so CES. <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes in, we'll talk about it now. We land at the end of this week. Yep. Next week or on the weekend, it all kicks off. Yep. CES 2024. Same pattern as always. There's yes. the unveiled show, there's a press day, and then there's three or then, four days, four of, the days show. of the show. Yeah. What? I don't... I mean, I've read a lot of little press releases. You get a lot of emails from people yeah. who are trying to do their best. I've not seen anything that jumps out at me as being remarkable at this point. Yeah. But that's not unusual. Because we probably haven't... I think even the companies that we kind of know what to expect from them. I reckon they all have a little something up their sleeve. Up their sleeve, yeah. They don't always LG show their cards. LG put out 1,600 press yeah, releases as they do the every show. year. They yes. do that all the time. But last yeah. year, they didn't tell us about the wireless TV until no, we got there. Until we got there. I reckon, right. yeah, again, there'll be up-the-sleeve surprises so from all those companies. I think la- the year before last, so two years ago, Samsung won the show with the Freestyle Projector yep. and because LG wasn't there. Last year, LG won the show in terms of big news. Yeah, the wireless TV. Um, because of the wireless TV and Samsung really didn't have anything no. stand out. Who wins the show this year? Just get just guesses and bets. What do you reckon is going to happen? Uh, well, I think there's going to be a big... Are we talking TVs or just in general? Are we, are we talking like big companies? Well, I reckon Samsung's going to have something up their sleeve this year uh, because of the... I don't know whether this, we're allowed to say this, but the proximity of the CES show and another product oh, announcement. Oh, we know. But it's public so, that yeah, they're so having that another announcement. So I reckon that they're going to have something So you think they're going to go so hard? Other. Yeah. They're going to have something that the the next product, so the phone launch, is going to be sort of coming off the back of the platform of, of something at CES. Like what? So I think like a TV feature or something that – that they can only replicate between a right. television and a phone. Which you think is like why that. they're bringing like the AI. two events so close Maybe. together? Maybe, yeah. I'd say that why why not have so much space between those two events? I reckon not, if you'd think that they'd want to space them out, sort of have all the press for the CES and then all the press for the other event later on, I don't know, something leads me to believe that there's, there's a link there. There's something that's going to connect them. I'm much simpler. Yeah. Samsung will have the the thing of the show because they didn't last year. Like yeah. Koreans, yes. these two companies yes. are like Ford and Holden back in the day. Yeah, You know, if yeah. Ford wins true, Bathurst, Holden true. has to win it the next year. They're yep. going to go all out and they're going to try hard. So because LG stole the show with something last year that yeah. got a lot of attention, Samsung has to. So there'll mm. be literally execs at Samsung saying, if we don't win we this... Can't, yeah, we can't be second. Where do you think year? you're working yeah, next year? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I agree. No, I agree. And I think, though, don't... Uh, and for me, CES has always been a very TV-centric show. So very it's home so, entertainment. Yeah, yeah. So TVs have always been kind of the, the jewel in the crown. Sort of there always have always been announcements for, you know, when Blu-ray first came out, uh, HD TV, 4K TV. Yeah. So I think, yeah, you're right. But don't, don't underestimate Hisense mm. or Sony. Sony has sort of been this sort of... Not the sleeping giant, you know. They're being plugging away with the TVs, because and and customers swear by Sony as a brand. They're still yeah. selling for TVs very well. Yeah. But I think that there might be something there too, with you know the link to PlayStation and all this other stuff. Like, do you think cloud gaming? Yeah. I reckon is going to be something. Like, imagine, I reckon a Sony TV with a PlayStation Five. Built the problem in is they haven't. Like that. The problem is they haven't released TVs at CES for two years. Like they haven't yeah. had a. Sony, t- there's not Sony been a TV it. there. Sony hasn't. There's been no TV yeah. on their stand. I've no. Well, a car. Samsung had the same deal last year. Remember, Samsung had. Remember, remember they had an off off show yeah. TV uh, press, like the the big ballroom at the mm. at Caesars. Caesars. With all TVs and their appliances and the stand at CES, the Las Vegas Convention Center, was more about the, the story of mm. the of the the products ecosystem, yeah. smart home, IoT, and I don't know is that not normally what you see is row after row of TVs and all the technology explained, but it's more it's more of a story they're telling now. Is that is that how you think other brands like LG still had heaps of TVs on their stand mm. and it was all all about the tech. Um, Hisense were the same. Sony were sort of more like Samsung, sort of more sort of top-down look I think, at the company. I think the one that will get a bit of attention this year is TCL. Yeah, right. Okay. They've got a 115-inch TV. Okay, wow. So now, that's, that's uh, well, they, again, that's, that's another prediction is the TVs are just getting bigger and bigger. I've only seen that because yeah. they've clearly seeded it to like just a couple of YouTubers and it's like, right. mate, that's yeah, right. go big or go home is, is always the story, totally, right? So yeah, I totally. assume they're going to have that. Plus, and I, think too, like, I did I, see yeah. a little like a teaser video of it might have been in a different show, but it might have been a smaller thing, you know, maybe in, in China or somewhere. But yeah. 
of a of a TCL TV that folded into itself, like ah. like the rollerball, but a different okay. approach. Yeah, yeah. So for that, something like that to yes. be, because we love. Let's be real. And I say this every year. CS is the one time of year where I don't care if it's available in Australia. I don't care yeah, if it's just it's, a concept. It looks good and it's sounds just fun. Good, yeah. We're here to have fun. We're yes. here to find cool gadgets. A bit beyond two thousand, right? Yeah. So I'm okay if I don't get a price or availability on it. Yeah. I'm cool if you just want to demonstrate something to me. Yeah. It that's looks cool. The only it's time cool, of year I cool concept. I let go of that. That's why unveiled is is the highlight. I reckon for me, unveiled yeah. is it's a fun it's a fun show, and the majority of my videos I've got to say I shoot at that that one night. Mm. But I do stuff. I do go on the booths of the other the other companies as well. But um, finding that one product that could be the next big thing, yeah, that's the draw. That's I fun. think for CES yeah. Unveiled, that's that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I, I, I still I still wish Unveiled was a better looking event. Ah, uh, right. It's just ugly. Really? You know, they're going to jerk curtains, about change curtains with that. trestle tables. You know, they don't. Yeah. They don't get it. They see, CES see it as a way to introduce the media to to companies and products. Yeah. They don't see it as a place to shoot television. Yeah. So true. it looks. Yeah, like, you're right. It's just not a great. Do you reckon they're going to do something about that this year? No. Okay. They've never asked me for it. They've not, they don't ask for <laughs> feedback. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know. Yeah. CES is very. Um, but they, I think that that, that they kind believe of, in their own success. Yeah, but it keeps in spirit with the show. Like it's it, you, it, you're at the show. Yeah, and that's why. I, and that, it looks like you're at a show. No, I don't think it does. Yeah, I, I, don't, I do. I, I don't, it's sort of that whole atmosphere of it. You, there's people walking behind you, and it's not. You're not in a studio. No, doing I, a, no, no. I get that. Know, it's, it's just that the, on the scene kind of feel. The, the problem with Unveiled and the paint the picture, and you'll see it in our videos. You're walking down. There's just a black curtain, and then there's someone standing there, and then there's a sign that says, you know, C one seven three nine, which is their booth number, and then and it says Tech Guide, and you're like, well, what does Tech Guide do? Yeah. Unless that company went to the trouble of yeah. putting up a sign that says we make a website or we, like yeah. what if, what is the it? The product that can do this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So then they don't yeah. think about that. This See, meets this. I, yeah. I'll tell you right now, I could make CES, whatever they make out of Unveiled, yeah. I could double it. Yeah. I could double it because I, I, reckon, I, could, I yeah. could sell it better. I, I yeah. could double the number of people that are there, as in yeah. uh, at, uh, exhibitors, yep. and I, could, I, I would charge them a fee to consult. I'd be like... I was going to say that we, that, should, we could be need. consultants. I we mean, could really help them with the, what we look for, what makes a product appealing to talk about on TV that's and, right. and talk about on radio. Uh, I, I agree, and 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 the approach of a of a booth, say a, a unveil booth, the product, what it does, explain yes. succinctly, demo. How uh, many staff do you bring? Yeah. How do you engage? Because like yeah. the problem is, you get these. You get these blokes. They're very rarely women. I'm being sexist. They're yeah. normally blokes. Yeah. They're they're us, but 20, 30 years older. They've been doing this for way too long. They've yeah. got to give up the game. They're holding a little camera. Um, and, you know, they're, they're as important as everyone else there. But they yeah. take 15 minutes of this person's time. Yeah. And I'm we standing there. I want, to film, <laughs> I want to film a segment for television. Yeah. I'm going to be five minutes max. I need someone to tell me in 30 seconds or less what the product is, yeah. what it does. And that's and all then, I need to know. And then I go bang. And then yeah. give me the product and let me say the same thing same. to camera. And yeah. how many times do you get yeah. people going, oh, man, you should be our yeah. spokesperson <laughs> all the time. They go, wow. That, yeah. I said, hey, mate, this is what I do. Like, so yeah. if you've only got two people on yeah. deck... You've you've missed the boat because you don't have enough people True. to help out. Yeah. You also they should all be wearing a very clear uniform, a color, yes. or something, so Branding. that you can identify yeah, in this crowd. They should also have like a you know how they they have those press walls. Yeah, you know where and for you to stand in front of it to do your piece to camera. Mm. So do they should have that? It yeah. should be built for. I hope they're listening. It should be built for all that. Yeah. I agree. Anyway, I think but even like even the show, oh, the show itself is is yeah, the booths are pretty pretty cool to film inside there. But it's there. No, you're right. Unveiled, I think, it's got the potential to be so much more. Well, because I say to companies yeah. like, oh, um, very very cool. We'd love to see you at Pepcom, and I'm like, I've been I to see go to Pepcom. I've been to see for twelve years. I've yeah. never been to Pepcom. I've been twenty years and I've never been there. Either. And the reason is, Pepcom yeah. is a piss up. Okay, yeah. yeah. Journos it's, go to yeah. Unveiled to get food and drinks <laughs> and products, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Showstoppers, same food and drinks, because not a lot of journos are being treated to dinner like we are. Yeah. Like sometimes yeah. they're just coming in from Wisconsin or something, and they yeah. they got to get a feed. Why wouldn't you save money and get a, get a feed in an event? Yeah. Pepcom is a party, yeah, booze up, food well, unveiled, and some products. And mate. I'm like unveiled, and also yeah. Monday night's a bad night. Like mm. we're 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 thinking about the show tomorrow. So yeah, man, I, I honestly think that we <laughs> we could offer unveiled. Yeah, if so there's much startup to companies businesses. that are looking. Oh, there was um. A lot, lot of, lot of companies that that, that do it right though. There's a few at, at, at oh, yeah. Unveiled that oh, do no, it right, some... and they get a great result. And you um, remember the bread yeah. making machine? 
Like I it, do, I'm going to yeah. say it was 2019 because yeah. or 20. It might have been 20 before COVID. But it was pre-COVID. I reckon yeah. it was 19, and they were making bread. Yeah, like it was this and, thing. And they were, and you could the idea it. was a bread vending machine, yeah. and they like they were just handing out a sample to everyone. But as soon yeah. as I said I'm filming for TV, they gave me a whole loaf. Like it was, <laughs> it was the whole deal. We did the whole thing. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was great. Now I remember the, all the sort of the. Do you remember there was one year where, and this was a great demo. Where they had the uh, airbag oh, yes, for seniors, mate, please the seniors hip yes. airbag. So it, it was a product that if you go beyond the sort of the vertical and are about to fall, uh, an airbag deploys around your hip. So if a senior yeah. doesn't break the hip, that, and how many times did the person have to hit the deck yeah. <laughs> so we could film it? But well, I, hang on, can you do that again? But I remember saying to them, "Okay, so that was uh, that was on TV. That got on how TV. How can for I me. demonstrate that on TV?" Yeah. And he said, "We can bring it, and you just push a button." And I remember standing there, it was like I was a suicide bomber. <laughs> I've got this button, and I'm Carl or whoever's at the other end, and I'll go. So this, imagine I'm falling there, poof, and it was, man, it was awesome. Are you wearing it? It was great TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, there, there was also another one for cyclists. Yes. Had that as well. Cyclists. Well, I think the same bag. company came back three years yeah, in a row yeah, with they different had, they had iterations. Had for seniors, one for cyclists. Yes. Uh, there was also a lot of fitness, health and sort of fitness products as well. Yeah. A lot of sort of like a gym, sort of all-in-one sort of gymnasium kind of products. Yeah. A lot of pet products too. Pet products, massive. Mate, right you there. can't go past Amigami Ham Ham from What's a couple that? of years ago. It was, the little, it was the little soft toy you put your finger in its mouth and it nibbles on your finger. Oh, yes, I remember that. You did that on television. Yeah. Yeah. And Carl was having a not right old laugh. Amigami Ham Ham. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How I remember that, I don't know. Can't remember who was in a movie last week, but I can remember Amagami Ham Ham. Oh, wow. But I, so I think that. How did that go, by the way? Did you end up getting that? Did that ever come out, that product? No. Or? This, that's the great thing. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I reckon the, I don't the, care. the hit rate, I reckon it's probably 20% success rate. 20, 30 that. max. Yeah. And also, but this is a product. ever see the light We don't of day. know what, yeah, what might, it might go off in Japan or yeah, France true. or somewhere yep, like that. Yep. So you just don't really but know. But there's products there that help you. Like I remember last year, the one that we were talking about was the Withings product. Remember that you put in the toilet? In the toilet. And you piss in it and it, you, piss, yep. you piss on it and it gives you the an analysis of your, of your, of Urine, your stuff. Right? Your sample. Of your, of your, of your biz and then uh, tells you, oh, you're a bit dehydrated yeah. or you need uh, more salt or whatever. I knew that just by looking at it. <laughs> so that was interesting. And that was like, I remember having that conversation It became quite awkward, yes. It was, uh, and I remember it was a sort of Sky News interview like late at night. Of the bloke goes, are you taking the piss? Ah, oh, good one. They said exactly what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. I don't know. I think that so that's the unknown of CS. Yeah. We don't know what we're going to see yes. at, at Unveiled. The TV stuff, we can kind of predict some some trends there, yeah. but we hope to be surprised. And that's I think that's why yeah. this is a fun discussion for yeah. people listening. Is we don't know. Like, yeah. there's some things AI, we, we AI get a sense of. Pretty central Every, here's the thing. Yeah. Um, I was talking to the Nine News reporter who's coming from LA, who's and he that? said. Uh, John Kersley coming oh, yeah. this year, okay. and um, he'll come to dinner with Samsung on the first night, on the Monday night. Very so you'll nice. meet him there. Um, yeah. he, he said, oh, "I'm keen to focus on AI," and I said, "Mate, good luck to you." Yeah. But there's a lot. There's a ev- lot. There. Everyone will say they've got AI. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's hard to nail that down. Yeah. What What is AI? This is what I love about AI, and we'll talk about it again in a minute. But in looking forward into the year, but see, a TV with AI is very different to ChatGPT. Yeah. It, it's t- it's the different levels totally, of what yeah, really totally, AI is, yeah. and I think that what we really want to see is demonstrations of AI in yeah. use. If someone can exhibit those but things, too, they'll dem- win. They'll win the show. Demonstrations of AI that can help you every day. If it's something that makes your life easier mm. or smarter, that can be demonstrated, then great. Because AI is this. Uh, we've been talking AI for decades, yeah. and the rubber's sort of hitting the road now. But something that's definitive. And that can be demonstrated, and you think, yeah, I could use that because mm. it's it's all been up until now. AI has been sort of pie in the sky. Oh yeah, it can do this. Well, I think that. so. Let, let, yeah. I think that what we'll see at CS, and we will get to the year and predictions and things in a bit. But at CS, I suspect that breaking through all the AI hype, I think we'll see healthcare. Do you remember years yeah. ago there was a thing, and there's been several of these things that talk about like elder care, yeah. uh, and how you've got sensors around a home, and you know helping you detect whether your parents are moving or whatever, whatever. Yeah. And I there was a lot of those things, and they were great ideas. But now add the layer of AI and the and the not the trust, but the the understanding that society has that AI is smart, and say, yeah. look, imagine you put these sensors all around the home, like, and and you're able to use AI to understand pattern changes yeah. that feels more real now than it did five years yeah, ago true. when someone so sold like that to me in, in the case of like elderly 
like grandparents, they're not moving yeah. around as much. They're a bit slower. They're doing things. So I, it was on. sold to me uh, yeah. by one of these companies is going, well, look, you know, the average person has a, has a routine. And if you're, yeah. you know, 70, 80, 90, and you're still self-caring at home, you get out of bed every morning, you go to the bathroom, then you yeah. go to the kitchen, and then you sit yeah. down in the lounge and you turn the TV on. Yeah. Now, if those things happen on a pattern on certain days, and Saturday's a difference because you walk out the front and get the paper or whatever it is, right? If your pattern changes, then you can be alerted. Yeah. Well, I would have more faith in that today because AI, yeah. I think, might be smart enough to help with that Similar kind of thing. Similar with, uh, I had a, there was a product for uh, pets that did that. So, mm. say if you, especially for a dog who's normally pretty active, if you see suddenly that the dog's sort of done a tenth of the steps they normally do, yes. you know they might be crook, they might be sick. But see, there's a difference between yeah. that's just a counter going, the number's yeah. different, yeah. and AI. That's my AI problem can with AI. Analyze it a bit. Yeah. Where is where, yeah. what is it truly AI, or yeah. is it just a see? If it's if it's something that I could write as a computer program, we go. Um, if you know, dog average steps ten. If today steps greater or lower, give this alert. That's not yeah. AI. That's yeah. just programming. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Higher or yeah. lower is just programming. It needs to sort of have it's got to provide insight. It's got to have insight. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So I yeah, think right. that's going to be fascinating. Yeah. So AI, it, 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 a lot of people will be looking for that stuff for do sure. You, uh, have you heard whether there's going to be a lot of cars again this year or not? So they've sort of decreased a little bit, haven't they? The no, cars, I think it's pretty presses. much hit its hit a plateau. Stayed the same. Um, you know, I know Mercedes is going to be there again. No, really. No, I know Mercedes oh, is going to no. be there again. I thought you said no. Yeah, no, they've got they've got. A very nice looking oh, vehicle I'll be there. Visiting there for sure. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll just come over to our office. They're just near there okay, in the West Hall. I will be. Um, yeah, I will be there. The yeah, I, I'll be getting some toasties again, mate. Yeah, I'll make <laughs> uh, the big gluten free options this year. Hey, that's no right. vegan options that's this right. year. <laughs> um, sorry, John. Um, <laughs> was it that last year? The year before? Last, no, last year. year yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we're going all celiac this year. Well done. <laughs> um, uh, do, 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 do. So yeah there's, yeah, there's probably not as it's not it's certainly not as car focused as it was before, right. pre-COVID, unfortunately. Yeah. But I think the same. Big and so they're now all in the West Hall, the big West new Hall, West yeah, Hall, because they hall. used to be in the North Hall. That's right. Yeah, yeah they're West Hall. Yeah, West yeah, Hall, cool. and there's still no South Hall as well. Really, mm. still so, none. No. Wow. So I, th- I still think the show is not as big as it used to be pre-COVID. Yeah, okay. They'll say it's massive and attendance and all that, but really, so no South Hall. No South. Wow, hall. that's that's made this the whole the show a whole lot smaller. Yeah, so I it's just so. Central Hall, North Hall, and West Hall. West Hall, and then Venetian. West Hall's and, massive, but it's yeah. yeah, right. And then there's all the off, off every off show. bugger that wants to have a meeting off yeah, show yeah, and yeah, in a hotel. I'm so like, what are you doing? How am I going to so, get there? Just to explain, uh, the, you can buy exhibit space at the Las Vegas Convention Center. So if you're a Samsung or an LG or big company, you know you have a presence on the show floor. But if you're a smaller company or even even bigger companies, they prefer to be off the show floor. Like Netgear, for example. Netgear has a whole floor at a hotel just up the road. Hmm. Uh, other companies choose to have a suite. Uh, so, and I think the, the way to give you that example is if you know Sydney um, or Melbourne, the, the convention centres, right? They're, they're, they're kind of centrally located. Good, yeah. you've got space there. Yep. Some people choose to have their exhibit in the Crown. Yeah. It's in a hotel room. Yeah. And then the CES also has... A, uh, a, a takes convention space at hotels in yes. the city. So there's other areas the where yep. you can get to, which makes it impossible to see everything. Yeah, exactly That's right. That's the bottom yeah, line. It's exactly impossible right. for us to yeah. see everything. We've got to be really strategic about where we go and how we plan our days. That's why is, press day is a good indicator for me. Okay, I want to see that. I want to see this. And uh, unveiled as well, because they, they often have stands at the show. They are what sets our agenda yeah. or part of our agenda for how we get around the show. So our plan for CES is to bring you Two Blokes Talking Tech live from Unveiled, yep. as we always do. Yep. So that's just it's um, all the quirky Steve stuff and I seen. running through you know ten or fifteen things we've seen between yep. us that are fun and interesting. And then press day is the Monday, uh, and these are um, Vegas times. Um, Tuesday the show is open, so Tuesday night we'll record. So that's yep. probably so Wednesday day, afternoon. Day one. Um, yep. um, After we'll, day one, we'll give you something. And then on Thursday afternoon we'll record against, which will be around Friday, Friday early Saturday. Yeah, so you'll get uh, plenty of plenty of, plenty of insights from yes. CES Las Vegas, yeah. twenty twenty four. What's this your twelfth one? Did you say? I think twelve. Yeah. No, this I think this is my uh, this is my twentieth year going, but it's my nineteenth. Ah, uh, of course, right. Yeah. Hang on, what? Because I, I think my first one was two thousand four. Or was it two thousand five? Two thousand five was my first. So Mate, I don't think you're making any year? sense. <laughs> You're trying to take my, my thing I said earlier and, yes. and turn it into something else. That doesn't work. So oh, yeah. That only works if it's Five, a continual six, thing. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, So it's 12, my 12th. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20 was a bust, 21, 22. No, 21 was a bust, 22, yeah, just shy. So it's my 12th, Stig's 8th, Flipsy's 6th, yeah. Jolly's 3rd, and Jackson's 1st. There you go. Because I, I'm, because we always have these conversations. Oh, do you remember that year we did this? So I've got a, I've got a note that tells me who was with us in what year. There you go. So that I can remember. That's efficient. Like you know, the first year we did this, or the first year we did that, uh-huh. just so I can. You remember don't just stuff. remember that? No. Nah. Have we? This is the first time we've met. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. So your first year was 2012. 2012. Yeah. Okay. With Intel. What was the year you hired the? Was it the Mustang? What did you have that car? Remember you picked oh, me up at the. Well, well, no. So you picked me up at the season. We drove around. First year, I yeah. I drove, and I think it was a Mustang. First year, yeah. Camaro. Second year, I and then I had my a photo roll. Yeah, same here. And then yeah. there was like a Dodge Charger. Yep. Um, I remember been... there was one year we went. You picked me up at Caesars. Hmm. And we went to the gold and silver pawn shop. Remember the show yeah. shop that's on Pawn yeah. Stars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Do you remember that? I do. I remember. I do. And we went doing to In and Out Burger because it was too. convertible. We uh, yeah, and yeah, we, we did In and Out as well. Yeah, I think on the last night we were there, we did In and Out. Right. And you were just solo then too. Yeah. It was before you. Twenty sixteen was the first year I, I brought others. Yeah. So there you have it. There you go. Yeah. All right. Next week, folks, CES 2024, Two Blokes Talking Tech. We'll have you covered as well as all the details at techguide.com.au, EFTM.com. And you should, right now, you should take the time to make sure you are followed on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, X, whatever the hell they're called. Um, We're going to be out videos, there, Jerry. We're going to be that's out where there. Be, but you know, the content will be available for yeah. you uh, all the time. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech. Two Blokes Talking Tech is proudly supported by Arlo. And what a great time of year to get into a security camera because a lot of people are traveling. People are away. You want to keep an eye on things. There's no better way of entering the market with the uh, other than the Arlo Essential. Great way mm. to start off your journey, uh, to give you that first step into the security camera world and the Essential I think it's under 200 bucks, isn't it? Easily, the, yeah. The, the outdoor camera. There's an indoor camera. I think it's 159 bucks. Yeah. Doorbell as well. Why not get the trifecta? The essential doorbell. Uh, you've got also the essential outdoor camera, essential indoor camera, and that I think that total package is be under 600 dollars. Under 500 dollars. Easily. And the great so, thing is yeah. they are so easy to set up. Literally on your home they Wi-Fi your network. Wi-Fi, yep. You don't need to buy a hub or anything like that. You get um, a, a trial of the Arlo Secure plans, which yep. allows you to get notifications of things like packages, people, uh, animals, and things like that, as well as the cloud storage. Yeah. And but you can do it with just one camera. So if you, you are, if you let's say you got another week at home before you go back to work, uh, now's the time. Go to JB's or Harvey's yep. somewhere, find yourself an Arlo camera, and just set one of them up, and you'll realise how it, easy it is. It literally takes five minutes yep. to set it up. Connected to your Wi-Fi, you get the notifications for movement. The app is really good, so it allows you to set whether you want the cameras armed, whether you're home, whether you're not home. And if you have the trial of Arlo Secure, you do have the choice. And we highly recommend you do take up that subscription offer because it does really add a lot of value to the cameras, allowing you to keep up to 30 days of recordings, to have those smart notifications as well. You can set the zones as well that you can check rather than getting uh, the the notifications. It really helps you understand and and manage the notifications, which is the critical thing. I'll say to people all the time. You get your first security camera, you might be frustrated by the number of notifications. Yeah. That just means you haven't set it up you properly. Set yet. It up right. You can manage that through schedules, through alerts, yeah. through secure notifications, all very yeah. smart stuff so that you're getting only notifications for the things yeah. that you need. And you know what, too? Just people seeing a camera oh, yeah. in your place, that's already added to your security. So someone sees a camera, they know, oh, I'm going to stay away from this place because they've got cameras here and I'm going to be seen. So that just in itself, having a camera. Even without them, without you seeing any notifications, that is step one. But very easy to set up, very easy to keep on top of your notifications and gives you peace of mind. Check them all out, arlo.com. Everything about tech you never wanted to know. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech. All right, we've we've moved on from CES and now we're crystal ball gazing into 2024, which you've yep. covered extensively on Tech Guide podcast as well. But let's just say extensively, but decently. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought it was extensive in my listening. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Trev. <laughs> like you heard it. That Come opener, on. man. It's one of your best. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll, 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 there'll be a test at the end of the show, mate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, so let's break it down. A couple of things we should look into um, yes. before we then we'll, we'll break and we'll talk about events as well. But yep. phones. Now, I made this bold prediction on the Today Show this week. Yep. 
It's going to be an iPhone 16. <laughs> yeah, so you can count. That's great. Like, Do you reckon they're ever going to drop the number? We've had this discussion yeah, before. I Do you reckon it's just going to be the iPhone? I really think they should have done that by now. Like, because... Like, when I we know, get to iPhone 22, like it's 14 just getting stupid. and 15, the only difference is the USB-C port, right? And and the camera's better. <laughs> you know, like broadly, Oversimplification titanium, much? titanium. Yeah. But like, honestly, we're getting to the point now where... Things are merging. I into still one think another. it would have been great to go Apollo, iPhone yeah, Apollo, I and different. Too, you know, yeah. like you know, like Holden had to come up with names for their cars: Commodore, yeah. Caprice. You know, all these great names: Gemini. Yeah, right? it's Gemini Holden car, Holden Gemini. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but so, the Holden Commodore VS VP VN. Yeah, you know, yeah. there was there was just model names reckon, that helped like, you understand uh, which one like, it was. Can you imagine where you know you and I are in the nursing home and there's the, the iPhone, <laughs> the iPhone seventy two, or, or that's might, might the be, problem. The iPhone, the iPhone. I love that you think you're going to make it another, <laughs> <laughs> another fifty five years. years. The iPhone thirty seven. Right. No, that's my that's, problem. I don't think it works. I, mean, I don't think, think it works. Like past our grandchildren like are using the thirty seven. That's know? embarrassing at that yeah, point. I think so. See, I think that's the thing is it should just be the iPhone. Yeah. But the problem is they they've realized now they need this long price list. They need to have the older yeah, models true. in the in the lineup. So and that's how do, the how problem do you, with how it. do you distinguish between um, them? I'll just let's keep it so real. So that simple. was a very bold prediction. We've, iPhone 16. We've talked about this before <laughs> and I think we can we can safely say there'll be no foldable iPhone this year. Nah. Or next year. Okay. Or next year. Yeah. Okay. That's a big call. I think it's a twenty six job. Okay. Yeah. But I think I think Samsung will mix it up this year. I think Samsung will push the foldable a little, mate. I'm hoping that now that there are more companies doing in the folding world, that's essentially what I'm hoping. Yeah. I think that that's gonna yeah, gonna light a fire under Samsung to say right, we really need to now kick ahead of. We got to own this, and uh, I think that the the reviews that we've given for especially for the fold, I think the fold can be better. Yes, fold can be a the best phone of all time if it's got a bigger front screen. Maybe a th slightly thinner design. And I think we lose because in Australia, Samsung and Apple so dominant. I think we lose sight of the fact that in in England, in sorry, in America and certainly Europe as well, you know, Motorola, yeah, big Google Oppo, do big, pretty big well. As well. So yeah. they have Asia, to be careful that yeah. mate, the Motorola Razor yeah. is a better flip phone than the Samsung. You reckon? Hundred percent. Wow. Okay. Mate, the, I'll tell you why. I you're think that because the bigger front screen. True. Yeah. I also think the it's the feel in the hand, the way they've done the yeah. textures. I okay. think it feels thinner. Yeah. Right. But mate, here's how I know it. Scott, who's an Android nerd, yes, bought one. Right. Like, okay. That tried them all. Yeah. And bought the Motorola. Says a lot. Okay. That was yeah, an easy enough. win for me to understand which was better. Now, okay. I think that Motorola pushing them hot on their heels. Yep. Oppo pushing them, but I don't think pushing enough. Yeah. I think the Samsung, the in, the pushing in three, Samsung. yeah, pushing Samsung. But yeah. I think Samsung has the fire on them, like you say. And I think that if put it this way, if they don't deliver a oh, yeah. not revolutionary, but a definite, yeah. We've had five folds. Yeah, they all look the same. The only difference you can you can really tell is one of them folds flat. Yeah, the hinge, the fifth generation. The very it took them five years folds to fold flat. flat. Yeah, no, if yeah. the sixth generation yeah. doesn't look like a different doesn't phone, look radically different. Yeah. Then we've got a problem. Did I tell you that story when I went to the? I think you brushed this session. We went to the design studio. Hey, hey, hey! I was <laughs> busy something. Yeah. Well, I went to the design studio. And they're talking about you know the inspiration from nature and the colours, and I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking, mate, can you make the front screen bigger? Can you just take inspiration from <laughs> your users? You, and I said to him, I said, mate, can I just make a suggestion? I swear to God, I said this to the des head designer of the fold. I said, mate, I'll tell you what you do. Make the front screen half a centimetre wider. Stick the S Pen up there. Done deal. Yeah. And he went, interesting. He said, yeah, um, we'll consider There's that. There's no way they hadn't mocked that up at some point. Mate, I saw the mock-ups. They had a mock-up and it looked like the Pixel Fold. Mm. You know, that was not available in Australia. Oh, yeah. The Pixel Fold, which was like shorter, wider, better feel in the hand. So is the summary that phones in 2024 are going to be same, same, but different? Like we're not, uh, there's not going to be anything revolutionary? Yeah, I think so. I think it's all about now, like, like Apple and I think Samsung are going to be doing this too. It's all about now premium, sort of titanium and mm. sort of better shinier surfaces and it's more now an accessory mm. a fashion accessory as well as being a functional product. You think we're going to be blown away by the S24? Uh, well, if you believe the rumours and the, the mock-ups, it's going to be like as big a jump from say the 14 to the 15 iPhone. That's what it's I'm going saying. To be, yeah, so it's going to be same, same, but different, as you said. So to, uh, uh, the word is it's going to be titanium. So that feels like it's going to be material, a, yeah. like you said earlier. Something yeah. software is going to drive them to say we've got the most amazing thing. Yeah, I which we so. have previously. We'll talk about AI in a minute, but that yeah. is the 
That is the thing that Samsung and Apple mm. don't yet have. What's that? AI. AI, yeah. I mean, they'll say they've yeah, got it, they but in, yeah, in, right. in real terms... You mean like a definite, like like Windows, you know, like help, Microsoft has Copilot. Copilot. Yes. Everyone, oh, you're right. I, I think that's kind of, a, it's conspicuous by its absence. I think we'll that, talk that's going to be something for sure. We'll come to AI in yeah. a minute. Computers, what, what, what? Well, I think the computer on everyone's lips will be the Vision Pro. Yeah. It's the spatial computer, isn't it, they call it. And this is a standalone system that, that a lot of yeah. people – remember when they announced a lot of people think 5000 or 6000 whatever. It, I think it was, what was it, 3599 mm. US dollars, which yeah. is like 5 or 6K Australian. People are going, six grand for a computer. And I turned around and said, you know those laptops that people spec up and for, to make it really high-end for a game, for gaming? They're six grand. And people are doing that without blinking. So – if you're going to have a powerful computer that can do all this other stuff as well as gaming, then it's in the same ballpark, which I think is going to. I, I think the Vision Pro has this. There's so much expectation built around it. I, I'm hoping it doesn't. It doesn't fail. Mm. But the weight of Apple behind it. Look, Apple have had failures before. Yeah. But I think the weight of the support from the developer community, and they did it really intelligently. They unveiled it at Worldwide Developers Conference. Perfect scenario. Developers have been now spending the last seven months creating uh, apps for the, to, to work on the Vision Pro. Mm. So I think when it comes out, it's going to be – and we had a try, so we've tried it. And it yeah. was amazing. I've got to oh, say, it was I've, amazing. I've stuck very solid Incredible. with my line. Yeah. I've said it this week yep. so many times on TV and radio. Yep. Apple Vision Pro is the most remarkable piece of technology – that I've ever experienced. Yeah, it's, it's remarkable. Incredible. It was incredible. But yes. I have no idea why we need it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, but, but you know what? That's the thing, and this that's is where we wait. we have Steve, to wait for the developers. This was a Steve Jobs thing too, mate. So, so the spirit of Apple is you never, you don't know you need it until you see it. Until no. you see it, you think I want that. I need that. I can use that. I want it. I need it. That's, I don't know what I need that's, it that's for. That's the power of Apple, and especially like Steve Jobs and these 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 types of people is that they you know they've got an idea of what you they've got something you're going to want and that you're going to need like look at the iphone was the best example of that right the iphone when steve jobs announced it during ces by the way during in 2007 hmm. Hmm. it was press day at ces 2007 i was there at ces i wasn't at the launch it was at the same time and press day was it was just a, it was called off no one went to press day because of this apple event and the way that Who'd have ever thought of using a, a touchscreen for a phone at no, that time? No one ever thought we, of we it. We have to remember that the idea of doing this. Oh, that was just am amazing. And what people we were gasping in astonishment. They're like, how do we zoom yeah. in? Oh, instead of a we scroll go, wheel, let's go like this. Yeah. And and that kind of thing. Oh, and I think the Vision Pro has that kind of feel to it, I reckon, at the moment. Where Mate. It, it, it'll amaze people. It will really amaze people, yeah. And and no no holding controllers and everything. Like mm. that. It's all just done with your movement of your hands and your fingers. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And and mate, I'll say I, I would uh, I'll hopefully get a unit to review from Apple, but I will put down my own money to buy that. Yeah. If, if it can offer the same sort of uh, like watching sport on it, watching movies on it, the whole so, you the know spatial video, <laughs> that's remarkable. If This is a really interesting moment in time, right? Because you think about how people value the first of things. Yeah. Would you be prepared to put five <laughs> grand <laughs> and, and open never it. open it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Because it's we've we've had – it's it's like uh, – I'll liken it to – uh, like all the other, the original Star Wars movie came out, yeah. and the original figures for that movie uh, were that was sort of set a trend. Yeah, and all the other movies in the, in its place, none of them are valuable because they, they weren't the first, right. and they weren't as iconic as that. Right. I don't think that that will be as iconic as the first iPhone or the first iPod. Yeah, because we're just so surrounded by technology. Well, I think here's yeah. the other reason why I wouldn't do it. Yeah, because technology. Fails. Yeah. So Could I... Could be a flop, you mean? Like it, Well, no, no, no. Yeah. Fa fails to work after ah, time. Right, okay. So I yeah. don't sell much. Right. I don't own much. Yeah. But I sold my tag. Right. Because there was a newer the one out. The smart tag. I, yeah, the smart... The, the, the I digital the, tag. I had the E2. This is the E3 or the E4, whatever they're up yep. to. Whatever generation Doing they're on now. Well. I, when I bought this, yeah. I immediately listed 
my last generation one because I keep boxes and everything. It was in pretty yeah, good yeah, nick yeah, and everything. Okay. So and I got funded. I got a little bit of the money to help fund so the second one. How new is this one? How new is oh, this? Oh no, this is a good year or so old. Okay. But this is going back. But right. the reason was because I thought, why? Like. Great that I've got it, but yeah. it's I'm going to have to charge it every six months to keep it working. Yeah, true. It, even yeah. if I do dust it off in 10 years, mm. there won't be an app for it. No. It won't be backward it won't compatible. It's, it's museum piece. Yeah. Honestly, I've got the Mario one, which yeah. is previous generation technology. Okay. It's, could you sell that? No, I've still got it. Sitting could, over but there, could, I could, no, it right I said, could you sell it? Not for, is that valuable? Now? I wouldn't get my money back on it, I don't think. You wouldn't? Okay, right. Whereas annoyingly, yeah. on the day, it was oh, three grand. People, yeah. It was going for like 30 Wow, you should have gone flipped it, mate. Flipped it anyway. Hindsight, 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 twenty twenty. Exactly right. Anyway, no, no. So, bottom line, we're both aligned. Though, by the way, yeah, well, <laughs> we're both aligned on Vision Pro. Yeah, although, I, I although think, you have more confidence in it, I do, and I think, I think just the HR, VR, AR, the whole bit in general. I think the whole industry is going to get a big kick because. Apple's now shined a light on this, on the potential of this. And look, not everyone's gonna, not everyone's gonna go and buy the Lamborghini. Do you reckon they're gonna put buy the S twenty four inside a Gear VR? <laughs> no, I don't think so, mate. I can't, mate. I'm gonna go. We're, we're currently cleaning up downstairs. When we get back from CS, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I've got a shelf dedicated to VR because yeah, come, come March, April, whenever it is, yep. there's gonna be a segment where I go. Well, look at this. And yeah. then look at this, and then look at this. We put a phone in here. Yeah. You know, we put a phone in a piece of cardboard at some point. Remember Google Cardboard? <laughs> yeah. still Samsung still had that. these, you know, and yeah. then you had PlayStation VR, and yes. you know, then you got Vive. Yes. You know, we've got a real but progression. I reckon the it's gonna it's gonna be the old rising tide lifts all boats, mate. Yeah. It's gonna be the VR world. People are gonna say, oh. This is real, this thing, because Apple's doing it. it, it it's fair income. Yep. A lot of people are going to think, oh, let's give it a crack. All right. Let's uh, let's talk AI in a minute. But yep. before we do that, we should um, we should do this. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech with Trevor Long and Stephen Fennec. Thank you to the great people at Netgear, netgear.com.au for all your networking needs. Whether you're interested in a uh, you know, small home or you just want the best Wi-Fi connectivity, their new Wi-Fi 7 router is phenomenal. I'll bring you details about that after CES. I have no time to write it up. Um, but they've also, of course, got the Orbi system. So plenty of Orbis to suit every budget and every home. And that's the great thing. You can go to netgear.com.au. You can answer a few simple questions about the size of your home, the style of internet usage, the speed of your internet, how many devices you've got, all that kind of thing that'll tell you which Orbi is right for you. If you go to Harvey's or JB's, there's a range of different Orbis. And look, good, better, best, it's a situation. The more you spend, the bigger it is, the more powerful it is, the more devices it will connect. And if you're someone with a smart home and 80 or 70 devices connected, you do need that top end. But I speak to people who just want better internet over there on that yeah. side of the house, and that's where you just need an entry-level Orbi. So there is something for everyone with the Orbi range. The beautiful thing is you don't need to change anything at your home other than adding the Orbi. Your existing modem, your existing everything, and then you plug the Orbi in and you create a dome of Wi-Fi over yeah. your whole and home. And it's easier than you think. A lot of people think, oh, it's, it sounds, sounds difficult. But it's actually, if you use the Orbi app, it steps you through yeah. the whole process and it, it takes 10 minutes. It's Plus, really easy to do. These days, the Orbi app then offers parental controls, armor yeah. security. There's a range of other things that offers your home network that can be beneficial to you as well. So check it all out at netgear.com.au. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech with Trevor Long and Stephen Fennec. All right, so we talked about AI with CES. Yep. But where do we see AI going in 2024? Because, man, was yeah. it awesome in 2023? It was big, yeah. And I think, though, that uh, companies are starting to stake their claims in it now. Like, they're starting to associate. Right. Like, we've got Copilot with Windows. Yep. We've got uh, Gemini with Google and all these things happening. Um, I think the... The, the, what, the other shoes to drop are, are what Apple's going to do with AI, whether they're going to make that part of their next Mac OS, perhaps, yeah. or Well, we, we talked about that a month or a few weeks ago, whatever yeah. it was. There's no doubt that oh, it yeah. is critical yeah. for Apple to launch some form of AI. Yeah. Otherwise, they don't look like a will tech it, company. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's weird. Will it be like a sort of, will they have another name for it? Will it be like, they won't call it AI. They'll call it, you know how they've got Siri. Would it be Siri AI, Siri powered? I think they'll call it Siri intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Because Siri has to retain, yeah, absolutely. become. It, na it's a natural Siri's thing dumb. to have that for sure. Siri's, yeah. Dumb. Yeah. That <laughs> hey, Siri's dumb. Yeah. That Whenever you say, hey, Siri, this, that, and the other, well, and, and she says, um, you know, here's something I found on the web. Yeah. Well, that's just I ridiculous. That, yeah. Read it out, love. Yeah. I, I mean, come on. Yeah. So 
That's what you need, yeah. and that's what they need. Well, honestly, reckon like, uh, and I said this on the show at the time. Copilot for Windows made me want to use Windows. Yeah, uh, the convenience it offered, and the ability to get through a lot of a lot of sort of menial tasks really easily. I have cha- like, you know, the best one was summarize document is mm. a good one. Um, uh, summarize my unread emails. Give me a pro- give me a, a priority list of unread emails. Yeah. And it would go through and say, oh, okay, you got to reply to this guy. You've been had an interaction with this person. Do this. That is powerful. Yeah, and right. Imagine you can do that on a Mac. That, that's, I think, what we're waiting to yeah. see. So there's no doubt about that. <clears throat> I, I'm i now at a point where I have ChatGPT win like a tab open all the time. Really? Yeah. So I, I go so to it write, regularly. Write your stories I got me. it to write me a letter today, <laughs> like a yeah. formal letter I needed to take with me to the States. Yep. And it did a great job. I just gave, right. I gave it a solid paragraph brief. Like, this is what I need. This yeah. is what's happening. Da, 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 da. Yep. And it, in the same way that you would, if you had an EA, yeah. You'd say all that, yeah. and you'd hope they remembered it all. But this spat out the most amazing thing. Yeah. Um, then there's, you know, image generation was the kind of second half of the year. Pretty yes. cool what it's doing. And if it, the the video stuff that Google's now talking about is remarkable. So yeah. so 2024, I think, will be the year of video AI, right? Where you'll be able to generate very cool videos that people might use as backdrops, whatever yep. things. Yep. I don't think it'll do people well. So it's not like it, I don't think we're going to get to the world where. Average Joes can do deep fakes easily, yes. But deep fakes will become a problem in twenty twenty four. I've got to say, I've noticed uh, in my TikTok scrolling, mm. there's a lot of AI girlfriend apps that are out there. Have you oh, seen really? This? No. Yeah, you have a weird TikTok. I don't know why, but it's uh, you get these apps you can download. It's like an AI companion, and it's you know you can have it as like a like a friend or a girlfriend or a, you know, it's it's all different levels of, depending on how much you want to pay. There's only so many levels AI can take. Well, that's right. But I think that is, levels that is that AI another... can't yet accomplish. Like in, a, in all seriousness though, like having an AI companion, like as in a, as in yeah. a friend, yeah. would be, I think, something a lot of people would gravitate towards. Well, again, There's a lot of lonely people We often there. We often, unfortunately, yeah. go to the, the world of, of, you know, young people dating and you think of that. But yeah. let's just think about yeah. the elderly Absolutely. and how a, a, an alone elder yeah. yep. who, who could – because voice is powerful. I had someone t- say to me on the phone today, oh, do you know someone who can recommend help someone buy and set up a computer? I said, how old is this person? They got like 75. I'm like, stop. Get them an iPad for a start, yeah. okay? Don't yeah. be stupid. Don't buy a computer. Yeah. And they go, why? Well, I said, because you know how to use one. Yeah. You can help for a start. Exactly. Yeah. Secondly, it's just easier. <clears throat> so I think definitely. that voice is easier. Yes. So if there can be an assistant, and that is why Siri, Alexa, yeah, Google yeah. can mm. be these things if yeah. they can become. So I think like the idea of saying thank you to Alexa and all that sort of stuff should become part of the, the yep. thing. It should learn. Like, you know, Alexa, I walk into this place every day and the first thing I say is to Alexa I say I'm here I'm yeah. saying it differently so she doesn't do things but yes. and then when I'm leaving I say I'm leaving well what would you do <laughs> turn the lights on turn the TVs on yeah so I, but but that Alexa over there has a camera why can't it detect me and yeah. say uh, good morning um, yeah. do you want me to well, play I often yeah. also turn the radio on so it should have learnt by now that my habit is to do this thing when yes. I get here to I often say turn the radio on on yep. certain days yep. it should learn that it should but suggest it, that it that, should that also re- know that I'm alone and it could ask me questions during oh. the day just just yeah. pipe up okay. just say hey, you on there, have trip? you seen the latest news or something yeah, you yeah know? fair enough would that be annoying though for some people you could turn it on and off right yeah. you say I want this less because there this is more. an LG product that I also spoke about on the Tech Guide podcast the AI agent they call it it's a little robot on wheels yeah. it's like a smart speaker on wheels and the reason I think that's smart is because it can roam around your house. Yeah, it can so tell you you've left the lights on or the window open so or can Amazon see your pet uh, Astro. But is that out yet? Yeah, in it's America. In America. Yeah, yeah. Right. How well is that going? As well as a robot that does nothing other than talk to you is going to go. <laughs> right. Mate, until it so can you get me a drink from the fridge. <laughs> so you reckon AI should be more personable? Is that that's what you're right. saying? To so yeah. say, Trev, how are you going? Yeah, I think you know how in 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 all those times when we we have are you okay day? Yeah, why can't AI be that person to say Trevor, you okay today? I and mean, say yeah, I'm okay. The bit, biggest bit problem is you people know? will get up in arms about privacy because what I'm about to suggest was it should know that yeah. I've been sitting on my ass for six hours and say, hey Trev, 
You should probably get, get up, up and right. go for a walk. Get or yeah. maybe you could hear, like imagine you could hear you sobbing because I'm watching a movie, right? It should say, <laughs> are you okay? You sobbing? I don't know, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it you should. okay, Trevor? It should be able to Well, that's what the LG robot, because it's got a camera, it can actually can detect, detect your, your emotion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So say. Uh, walk in the door. I no, I've v- had a crap day. I've got a very and funny message. And kicks the robot across town. <laughs> the, one of the guys that commented on my Facebook page, I posted on my Facebook, Tech Guide Facebook page, and it said, oh. Can it, can it detect it when it's that time of the month for my wife? <laughs> and I think, well, oh, whoa, Remember, whoa, we've whoa. got that app idea. Wow, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, AI, I think AI as a companion mm. would be something really touching. I think it's going to be know? a tough one to, to make happen because of the yeah. potential invasion of privacy people will see, which yeah, but, is sad because that's what it is. But no, not if they welcome it, though. If you welcome, know. If you know you've got this, this companion that can ask how you're going – Remind you to put the bins yeah, out. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know, like we like, agree on that. Yeah, we agree on that. Yeah. But you can see it now. Yeah. The phone call from the Daily Mail or someone saying, "Can we get your comments on this?" Because there's a concern that Google knows about this person's health and well-being. Well, well, that, my that, comment that's is that's good. Them, that's between them and Google. Yeah, yeah. Like, where's that going to go? Yeah. Uh, outside of that, them two, those you know, two. If Google's going to sell parties. them cheaper drugs, good. Yeah. Whatever. Well, I think. Yeah. I, I think that we, there's sometimes a, at some point we have to accept the. Yeah, the the, 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 the cost the, of doing business is doing your business. data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I know, and and again, the, the earlier this week, the the monthly or bi monthly TikTok oh, data Christ story. Yeah. Like, how often has that come up? Did you think the same thing? Yeah, I think oh, oh, must Mate, be must be eight weeks ago because they're doing that again. I didn't say no to interviews. I just yeah. told them my opinion straight up, and they didn't, and then didn't get the call. <laughs> yeah. Because well, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, TV sorry, news, Facebook bang. and Google are just as bad. Yeah. But TV news, right? It's the hook. TikTok, China data. Privacy, bingo. The, yeah. the ingredients for a story are there. Yeah. Let's go. Because I actually same I, time so I did. I did an interview with Nine News. I didn't watch it, but I'm tipping. I know exactly. I did you know ten minute interview. I know exactly which grab they they yeah. used because it was the kind of most negative one. Yeah. It, but they wouldn't have used all my comments about no. Google and Facebook yeah. and how the third party websites were probably the ones that should be at fault and how people don't yeah. realise it's it's yeah. Sportsbet's decision to put the TikTok pixel on their page. Not TikToks. Exactly right. You know? Exactly right. So unfortunately that part of it is gonna yeah. gonna be beat up. And and that's yeah. why people I, kill people, not guns. Guns don't kill people, people kill hey, people. AI kills people. Data not, yeah. data is there if the company like Sportsbet's a good example, they put that they did that. TikTok didn't make them do that. No. So hello. No. Yeah. It's uh yeah. My and, and I'm predicting that by February, yeah. end of Feb, this story will be up again. The TikTok, TikTok data. one, yeah. TikTok. It's, it's set your watches. Set your watches. It's every two to three months that we do this story. You know what, where it's driven from? Politicians. Yeah. Now, t- just to be clear, full credit to David Swan. It was a good investigation. It determined exactly what was going on. Yeah. But what it didn't do was dig into why. Mm. So it confirmed that when you go to the sports bet page and you go to sign up for an account, we'll just dig into this topic for a second because I am yeah. fascinated by it. And yeah. I haven't talked about it. Yeah. Um, it's, I think it, along the lines of what I read was you, you fill in, you're going to sign up for an account. Yeah. And before you've clicked the box that says, I accept the terms and conditions, it sends off your name and email to TikTok, right? Yeah. Well, I got. I want to know whether it's actually Sportsbet's fault that their form is auto-processing, uh-huh. right? Or yeah. is it TikTok's pixel? Right. And secondly, listen, how many people go to Sportsbet and write their name, email address, phone number, date of birth, everything, and don't submit the form because they, oh, no, I don't agree to the privacy. How many people nobody, are saying no? Nobody. Come on, yeah, folks. I know. I know. Yeah. No. So there's yeah. that whole. Hang on a minute. Yeah. It's a it's a push too far. Yeah, I so agree. AI in summary, I think the year of video AI. Yeah. And I hope more more personalization in devices. It's funny. I'm going to say something that you might find funny, um, but what's decided uh, the direction of technology in the past before has been porn. Oh yeah, no. Porn has just, de- just decided beta or... to take like Blu-ray and yeah. HD DVD porn. VHS beta porn. So will AI have a have a place? Will the chicken and corn be AI yeah, or applications? Rewind. Is that going to have implications on Apple's success with the Vision Pro? Uh, maybe, maybe if you want to have spatial video, hello, like you're there. That's what VR is all about, isn't it? Putting you there, and and some smart is going to find hmm. a way to. It's there already. You can yeah, you can download VR porn already. I've not tried, but me neither. But you can do it. And if if the quality gets better, and then people are going to try it. It's going to be that these are the drivers of technology. These things where people try. There you have it, folks. Two blokes <laughs> talking twenty twenty four VR and porn. Good times.
Someone had to go there. Uh, I someone decided, did. decided to be me. And it was you. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech. Well, Stephen, uh, we're leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> did you not know where I was, I was going with that? Say, I do. No, okay, I was just going to say Happy New Year because Happy, happy New, New Year, year mate. We're, uh, we're in a new year now. Here we are. 2024. Sounds um, like the future. We're off to CES. We'll talk to you from CES multiple times. We appreciate you downloading. Yeah. No video. It won't no be video. No video podcast. No. There. I mean, there'll be bitter. photos taken by people, but yeah. They're just they're just fans, you know, yeah. around Vegas. Unless we just do selfies the whole podcast, so we just film ourselves through the whole podcast and just share the files. Or bit of trouble though. That'd be a bit yeah. of work. Yeah, I mean, most of the oh, time I won't be doing that. Most of the time, Stig and the boys nick off because they're exhausted yeah. from the day. So they're, yeah, we're, they we're, we're left on our own anyway. But yeah, true. All right, see you in see Vegas. See you in Vegas. Thanks, mate. See you, mate. Talk. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech.